never again. Never again will I be using fresh aloe vera gel in the way that I used it last time. Mm -mm. Nope, <laughs> not I set the cat. We gotta talk about something real quick, okay? First of all, let me get these <laughs> cracked lips right. If you've been following along here on the channel, you know that I've been using fresh aloe vera gel straight from the supermercado. I cut it up, took the gel out, put it in a blender, and put it in my hair. And I've been using that as my deep conditioner every single week. And while yes, do not get me wrong, there are so many benefits to using aloe vera gel. My hair? Flourish. She would have had me out here doing a weave dance like, ow. But there's something that the people must know. There are pros and then there are cons. Pros, okay? Tons of enzymes that catalyze hair growth. Tons of nutrients that are gonna feed your hair. The strength it needs to continue to grow. It's 90% Water, which is really good for your hair because water is moisture. It's cheap. It's about $1.99 and you can get a good two uses out of it. Compared to a regular deep conditioner that I pay about $13 for, I get about six uses from that. And so, you know, this just seems like an economical decision. Cheap, cheap, gang, gang. It's time to talk about the cons, okay? I wanna be real with you all about my experience last time that I used aloe vera gel. Something happened differently then than uh, the first time that I came up here and showed you all the aloe vera gel. And that is, you better talk to her before I do, because I'm hurt of feelings. Let, let, let me just give you a hint, okay? Christmas time is here. They're great. Okay, they were serving me frosted flakes. I had so many flakes in my hair, okay, because here's the issue. The first time that I used aloe vera gel, I just cut up the leaf, and I cut it up into different slices, and I cut it in half. I don't know if that made any sense, or if you got a visual from that. And then I pulled it apart, and then I basically just used the gel straight from the plant, and just, you know, put it straight on my head. And that was simple, that was easy, but it was a bit difficult to get all of the gel from the plant. There were a few tips and tricks that I had missed out on that would have helped me in that situation. You can sort of lightly press the gel with your finger, and it sort of gets all of that gel from the plant, but I didn't know that at the time. So I put on my inspector gadget glasses and I was like, okay, what can we do here? <gasps> let's blend it, okay? Let's cut it up and let's take all of the leaf off, all of the skin, and let's put it in a blender. Let's add some oil to that because so many people were telling me, hey, Will, you need to put some oils in that, olive oil, all this type of stuff. And I was like, okay. Girl, if we want to make an aloe vera smoothie on today for this deep conditioner, that's what we'll do. So that's what I did. Slice, boom, dice, ow. I chopped up the aloe vera plant, I got the gel, I stuck it in my blender, I poured in some olive oil, way too much. Okay, I put a lot in there and it was kind of gross, but I, you know, exactly what I said in the video, how was I supposed to get it out once I put it in there? Gluck, 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 gluck. Okay, I put that avocado oil in there as well. Put the top over the blender and I blended it up. Okay, and that was amazing. I was like, okay, lit, this is this is great. Uh, I'm gonna put this on my hair and it's gonna be so good. Because I had been doing this every single weekend for three weeks and I was like, I already love aloe vera gel. I'm loving this stuff. So this has to just get better. So you know, I do my thing. I take the gel and I put it in my hair and it's amazing. It feels so good. My hair is literally bouncing back. Bouncing back like a booty in a club. Bouncing back like an empty check. Bouncing back like a basketball off of a backboard. But it was amazing. My hair loved it. But then I went to go rinse out my hair. Sorry, I need a moment. It was like Elsa. It was like Frosty the Snowman. Um, flakes. You get a bowl, you get a bowl, you get a bowl because we are eating Frosted Flakes on today. I blacked out in the shower, you know? I was like rinsing in the shower. We wasted everyone's money, I wasted everyone's everything and I feel bad. But as I was doing it, it seemed to be working. Like I was like, oh. I, I guess it's all out. But when I stepped out of the shower and let my hair dry, all of those aloe vera particles turned white. It's been about a month and I'm still witnessing snowballs, okay? Popcorn all up in my hair. The thing is, when I rinse my hair out, those aloe vera gel particles sort of return back to a gelatinous state and they get stuck in between the hair strands. And it's hard to get them out. Although, each time I do rinse my hair, a little bit more of those particles come out. I've tried shampoo, I've tried a couple of co-washes and it just is not working. I don't want to over shampoo my hair because especially in the winter, that just makes my hair dry, brittle. I ain't to look like an actual frosted flake, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna continue to rinse it out with conditioner and to just let that happen, but it's literally been about a month and it's just sort of annoying, okay? So here's the solution. What do we do moving forward? If we wanna use aloe vera gel, we have to strain it. If you have a cheesecloth or a kitchen strainer, use that. Do not just go ahead and put something that you just blended, especially if it's a natural deep conditioner, whether it be aloe vera gel or bananas or whatever other fruit or plant that people like to put in natural deep conditioners. Make sure you strain it afterwards. Words, okay, so, and then put it on your hair so that you don't end up with a bunch of chunks. So definitely next time I will be straining my aloe vera gel if I decide to blend it up. Learn from my mistake. Learn something from this. 
You go to bed at night, you lay there, and you take responsibility for yourself. So I just wanted to come up here and give you all like the 100% real tea on how that last aloe vera gel treatment went down. And I don't want you all to make the same mistake. So go ahead and strain your products. But that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all learned something from this. If you did, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, be my friend, be my homie. Maybe you'll see the next time that I use aloe vera gel and I actually strain it. Just click that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'll see all of you back here real soon for another episode of Will on a Whim. But until then, bye.